How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout for episode 15 of the Hexagon Challenge here with Ashman Club in the United Arab Emirates. So today's game sees us take on Al Nazar of Saudi Arabia in the Asian Champions League quarterfinal first leg uh, away from home. Uh, so what's happened since the last time? Well we've had our pre-season and we've played the Super Cup which we've won for the second year running. Um, friendlies didn't go amazingly. Uh, we played a couple of the teams from our Champions League group stages. Tika has the details of what went on. Um, we played one league match, one Emirates Cup game. We've won them so far, but um, it's very early doors in the season. Um, today sees us take on Al Nassar, as I say. So if we take a quick look at their squad. Uh, and the first thing that jumps out at you is, boy, do they have money to spend. Um, our top earner is probably Ahmed Ibrahim on about 4k a week. And here is a substitute for them on 4.9k a week. Hardly any of their players are under that. Most of them are over. Now, I know money doesn't necessarily mean a good player. Um, but if we take a look at the star man, Marquinhos Gabriel, uh, who's wanted back home by Atletico Mineiro. Um, he looks like a class act. Um, you know, he's maybe not worth his 59k a week, um, but certainly looks like a, a player and a half. So I think we're going to have our work cut out for us today. Um, we're, we're probably going to have to play a little more uh, reserved than we do normally if we want to try and get anything from this game. Now, I have a confession to make. I have attempted to cheat uh, to win the Asian Champions League. No, nope, not what you're thinking though. If you take a look at the draw here, two of these clubs sacked their manager and I went to apply for the jobs. So Pohang, who we played in the World Club Championship, sacked their manager, as did Gion Buck. Um, coincidentally, they're playing each other. I applied for both. Now, I think these teams are better. I think South Korean players um, are of a higher standard than the Emirati players and I thought I wonder, I wonder if I could just get in there and possibly find a shortcut to winning the Asian Champions League and winning the first of the six Champions League titles for the Hexagon Challenge. I'm still Ajman so you can guess what's happened. Um, I didn't even get an interview with either of them. Obviously um, my world reputation has improved and it is comparable uh, to the two managers that got the jobs. Uh, however, I suspect it's because I'm not known in South Korea. If I was world famous, then I probably would have got the job. Um, so, you know, they were two of the bigger jobs in South Korea. Um, therefore, I wasn't considered for it. So we're still at Ashman. Um, but the fact I went for those jobs just brought home the point that I think I'm done here. Um, I have searched endlessly to get players uh, who will improve this squad and I can't find any Emirati players um, I even tried looking for players that I could sign for some money and they're just not going to improve our squad from what we have you can see our finances now we're back down to 85k we had quite a, a chunk of money at the end of the season there and it's all gone you know just on wages um, so I just don't see any future for me at this club in terms of trying to get the Champions League. Um, we might win the league this year. Um, I'm contracted till the end of this season and I'll probably stay unless another job becomes available. Um, but it just doesn't look as though things are going to go our way. Everton won't sign a new deal. I've had to fight to get Ali Ismail Ibrahim, our player of the year for the last couple of years, uh, to sign a new deal. And, you know, he's held us to ransom. Um, you know, we, we can't even pay over 5k a week for a player, so I, I, I just don't see how we're going to manage to win the Asian Champions League. If we can't do it this year, I don't think we'll ever do it because I don't think our squad will get stronger, I think it'll just get weaker. So, yeah, sorry to start the episode on such a negative, um, but yeah, let's let's get into today's match. You never know, miracles sometimes do happen in football and. They do happen quite a lot in Football Manager, it must be said. Um, so, for today's game, I am going to make a formation change, right? I'm, I'm going to pull back Iago Philippe, and I'm going to play our only defensive midfielder, who <laughs> he's not particularly amazing. 
Um, but I have hopes that he can do something. Because um, if we look at what they look to play, they look to play Marquinhos, Gabriel, their star man, just behind the back two. Based on his stats, I would say he is the danger man. He is the man who's probably going to run through the middle um, completely untracked by our centre-backs because they're watching the strikers. He'll just come through and score for fun. Um, so I'm going to try and play Jama there and I'm going to try to kind of counteract him. Um, we've got enough pace, I think, in terms of our, our wide men. Uh, Abdullah Ahmed... Uh, 11 and 11, uh, Kamis, 10, 13, uh, Al Kamali on the bench, 9 and 13. So, got a decent amount of pace there. In terms of playing Everton today, uh, 14, looking at Yusuf Ahmed, pretty similar. So, I think that's probably what we'll go for. And rather than being an advanced forward, um, I may look to just play him as a poacher um, and we'll see whether or not we can just sneak a goal or two from somewhere because it just doesn't feel like looking at Al Nassar that we're going to be able to do this. To be honest, I felt the same way when I looked at Al Ali um, in the group stages. We managed to beat them both times, but we might have just fluked it. Um, in terms of personnel, we should have Ali Esmail Ibrahim there. We'll be able to get Yago Philippe on the bench. Um who, if we do want to go attacking for whatever reason, um, that should be a, a good option for us. Um, yeah, so I think this is the best we can go with, guys. This this is probably as strong as our team is ever going to be. You look at who we've had since the start of the, the series. Driss Fatui, um, he got sold because the board accepted a big bid. Um, couldn't afford to keep Michael on. Well, he wouldn't even talk to us. Well, Miller's left. You know, anyone who seemed that they could help take us forward, um, and, they, and they've gone. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, closing down always. I want tight marking on Marquinhos Gabriel. Because um, I think he's going to be problematic for us. Uh, let's see. Just say go out and impress. We, we really are punching above our weight here. We now are the most reputable uh, team in United Arab Emirates. So in three years, we've managed to get to the top of the country, which is really good from that point of view. Um, but I couldn't even convince a player who left Alain to sign for us. Uh, he's gone to Montpellier um, HSC and getting paid 18k a week. You know, He's Omar Abdul Rahman. Whether you know him or not, the kind of poster boy of the Emirati uh, national game. So, yeah, couldn't even get him, uh, despite being the biggest club in the country. So, it just doesn't look like we're going to be able to take things forward. And a great start there from us down that right wing. Um, team fitness wise, it's a little bit lower than I'd hoped. I would have liked to have had everyone at 100%, but we just don't have the squad um, to play a. a completely different 11 in the, the league match prior to this so we are 20 minutes in and very little has happened, we've had one shot and it was off target, we've had more possession um, let's see what happens with, yeah, so you look at this you see him, see Marquinhos Gabriel I knew he was going to be like that uh, he's just always looking to go forward in that little gap to be honest I'm kind of looking at this thinking maybe I should play three central defenders if uh, if Jama doesn't uh, track him well but we've got a chance here Al Hamadi hits the crossbar from across I didn't think the keeper got a touch but it looks like he did Ibrahim now with the corner we've got to make the most of our set pieces any of these kind of chances we have to take them um, so Everton giving away a foul there from a corner an attacking corner, not very good. So Al Gaferi is on a yellow card in the first 30 minutes. Now Everton as well. Corner kick, Marquinhos Gabriel plays it in. <sighs> Al's a cam with a free header and he puts it wide. Now we have a corner. Ibrahim deep into the penalty spot there. Hassan, can we get a clear shot at goal? Ibrahim back in. Hassan, have a shot. 
Metal's on target. That's uh, that's the positive to take from it. Wasn't very hard. Wasn't placed particularly well. Everton infield to Camis. Thing it may have been going wide, but it was blocked, and we have a corner nonetheless. Ibrahim again dropping into that same area, and we're just not winning the headers there at all. Uh, Ibrahim now, what can he do? He can lose the ball, <laughs> and Al Nazar are on the break. Ahmed Ibrahim doing well there to keep the striker away. It's 35 minutes gone, nil nil. I would say, based on the stats, we have done pretty well so far. But, that could all change now. Uh, Sinkala, speculative effort, and it sails wide. We should enter half-time at 0-0, and if it does, I'll be pretty pleased with that. I won't be pleased if we get a yellow card for Camise now, and we do. So, I think we're going to have to change the opposition instructions as ever. Uh, to normal um, yeah they, they have been doing well I would say um, I'm going to say I'm not happy with everything's finishing <laughs> that didn't go well ok um, we'll just go back to kind of being supportive of them um, right tactics let's get oops come on here we go so set it back to normal again might give them the edge in the second half, don't know. So, here we go, Sinkala. Will Al Nasser get a chance straight from the kickoff? I actually seen Gabriel Marquinhos has dropped back into central midfield. Um, slight reshuffle, so that's good news. If they've got a guy that dangerous further away from our goal mouth, um, that will please me. Everton now down 6.5. Yusuf Ahmed, as I've said in previous episodes, does have a habit of scoring off the bench, so maybe we can bring him on and, and get a goal from somewhere. But this is dangerous. Hazazi to Al Zakan looking for Al Jabri. That was a dangerous challenge to make there. Junior Urso to Marquinhos. Free header for Sincala, but it was really too far away to generate the power to get past Kalef. And we're not going to get a highlight from our chance. So we're past that hour mark. We're still in this. Um, if we could just nick an away goal. Um, you just never know what might happen. So we'll try our usual change of bringing on Al Kamali. And uh, swapping over the strikers. There's really not much else we can do, and that's the sort of thing that's just becoming a realization for me here. Is there's very little that I can do to change things around because there just aren't good enough players to buy. Uh, Al Mansouri, another cross hitting off the crossbar from the keeper. Hassan with the corner headed away. Yusuf Ahmed will pick it up. Can he recycle the chance? Can we get another one? They're not pushing out. Al Kamali now back to Cinnamon. Now they're starting to come out. We might get a bit of space. Al Kamali in for Ahmed. Kamis with the chance. Kamis scores. Unbelievable. So the <laughs> the miracle that is Ajman in the Asian Champions League is still continuing. Now we've got to make sure that we just don't mess this up now. Um, I'll say concentrate, but I don't think that'll take effect until after this highlight and it may be too late by then. Alan Suri wins it back well. Yusuf Ahmed, the fresh legs. What can he do? Gets by his man. He's into the box. Decent effort there. Forces a save from Alan Zai. And we have another corner. Camis now will whip this in looking for Al Gaferi. Breaks back out again. Yusuf Ahmed. Seems to have had a good start since coming on. So we've got 18, what, 15 minutes now to go. Chance here for Al Nassar from the corner. And, phew, yep, I hate corners. <laughs> it's got to be said. Every time I watch someone else's corner, I think they're going to score. I watch mine and I'm pretty sure it's just going to get headed away. Um, so Marquinhos Gabriel now very, very deep. And Jama with the foul. Surely that's not going to be a red card, is it? 
No. Keeps his card. I just had that feeling for them showing a highlight there. I thought it might be a red card, but maybe there's a, a chance coming directly from uh, the resulting free kick. Gabriel out wide to Hazazi. Almansuri stops him again. Can Kamis get there? He does. Can he chase it down? Nope. So I thought I might get a break there. I certainly can see they're pushing men forward. There is plenty of space there. If we can just win the ball and send it up the park quickly. I'm kind of tempted to tell us to play a long ball, but I really hate playing long ball. You know, that's not attractive football in my mind. Salem now, he's through on goal. He was on side. And it's now one all with 10 minutes to go. I'm not too disheartened by this. Um, I was expecting probably to lose 2-0, 2-1 at best. Um, so I will take a 1-1 draw um, against a team like Al Nassar. And that should be it. That's all she wrote, I think. Yeah. So let's see. I'll tell the guys that they've done a really good job. Um, see if we can keep that morale up. It might be a deciding factor in the next game. But stat wise, it was very level, so I think it was a fair enough result. So I'm going to skip ahead and get into the second leg, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so it's crunch time in the Asian Champions League, and um, one game in between the, the, the last one and today, uh, we played the Pro League new boys, Al Aruba, beat them 3 0. Now, I played a pretty much second string team apart from a couple of players. Ali Kamis, man of the match, three goals, 9.6. Why did I play him? Because he's suspended for today's game, so that's not great. That's not a great start. Um, but yeah, let's let's just get on with this. Um, th this is what the last three seasons have led up to. Um, um, yeah, okay. We need to we need to change our team around a bit at the back here. Um, here's Ahmed Ibrahim and Al Gaferi. Uh, Jama, Jama did very well, I think, actually in that last game. Um, certainly seemed to to stop uh, Gabriel Marquinos, Marquinos Gabriel. Can't, which way was it? Don't know. Don't care. It's not my player. I don't need to remember his name. Um, Hamid Mohamed Ibrahim will swap out for Ali Esmail Ibrahim and Abdullah Ahmed for Hassan. Al Kamali for Al Hamadi, and then of course we're missing, we're missing our star on the left. <laughs> um, I guess it's gonna have to be Booty Saif, maybe. This youngster's not too bad, but I mean to be honest, Yago Philippe, I would potentially play out on the left if I needed to. Um, and we'll go back with Everton, I think. Let's put him as an advance forward today. Uh, Saif needs to be a winger. And I think we're just about there. Um, Going to put Hassan in a ball winning midfield as well. The idea in this is just to try and sneak a goal. I'm not going to go out there and try to win it from the off. Um, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Um, yeah, okay, so the, the pundits are obviously going with Al Nazar. Uh, okay, so boys, what will it be? Semi final or end of the road? Um, what can we say? Underdogs? Nah, don't really want to say that. No, didn't work. <laughs> Uh, well, at least the individual side of it is going not too badly. Okay, so Marquinhos is back there in his favoured position behind the front two. Straight away you can see him. Jama is... Oh, that's Hassan that's following him. I thought that was Jama. Saif with a corner. Everton picks it up. Will he shoot? Probably well. He does. Straight at the goalkeeper. 
it's not uh, not too bad. First couple of minutes to get a corner, shot and goal, settle the nerves a little bit. Al Mansouri now whips it in. Hassan, is he going to shoot? He very rarely shoots. This time he does. Puts it into the top corner. Four minutes on the clock, 1 0 up. Now, I'm not going to get carried away here until we score another one or two. Um, anything can happen. Um, and Jama has now picked up a yellow card. I am see. Oh, geez, I thought I was getting set off there. I'm seriously thinking that from now on I'm just going to have to change this. Um, I don't know if it's anything to do with the the quality of the refereeing in this competition compared to um, domestically, but it seems like I get so many more yellow cards in the continental competition. Anyway, here are Al Nassar pushing forward. That. How that wasn't a free kick, I don't know. Everton wins it back. Al Hamadi to Cinnamon. Infield to Ibrahim. Big switch looking for Saif. Standing in for the suspended Kamis. Al Hamadi on the edge of the box. Left footed shot, his weaker foot. Decent enough effort. As I say, it's a positive start. We've got a goal. We're in the driving seat, but we need another. Cinnamon to Everton. To Hassan. Can't reproduce the shot that he had earlier. Hassan wearing the captain's armband for the last couple of years, showing how it's done, leading by example. But we've got to defend here. Alzakan to Gabriel. Vicious shot blocked in the edge of the box, but Mansouri. See, that's what disappoints me. But he'd been better running away with the ball himself. Um, and I think Al Nazar might get another chance here. Well. If you want to shoot from that range, be my guest. I don't think it's going to go in. Kalef short to Ahmed Ibrahim to Cinnamon. Now Al Hamadi, can, can we engineer another opening here? Ibrahim progresses, is cut out. Al Mansouri now trying to go down the left wing. Saif infield to Hassan. Back out to Saif, the right footed cross to the back post, Al Hamadi, and Everton sticks it home from a couple of yards. 2 0 now. Do you know what? I, I went from that last uh, match thinking this was just, you know, it's been a good adventure, but kind of reluctant acceptance now that we just weren't going to go any further. But really pulling this out of the out of the bag here. Um, I'm going to keep Hassan on to at least till half time. That's disappointing. He's playing 8.1. He's our captain and now he's injured. Um, you keep playing him, you'd run the risk of losing him for longer. And if we do go through, we need him. Um, not that Abdul Ahmed's a bad player, he's just not as good. And he's not our captain. So, alright, 32 minutes on the clock. Al Nassar now with a chance here. It looked like there may have been a dive. Chip back in. Sinkala to Galeb. It'll probably come back out wide to Gabriel if he's still there. As he, I think he's come back into the middle. Kurdi to Galeb. Hazazi. Sinkala. Al Suhail. Suhail? <laughs> it's bad enough with my own players. I can't do it with. with players from the other team, Curdy now Hazazi, Gabriel blocked again, we are, we're defending well we didn't get a chance on the break there so just seeing Hassan's at 63% Hamadi with oh, the effort straight at the keeper, that was a chance there against Alan Azi 3-0 I'd really start to feel comfortable Saif now with the corner Everton with the header back in and Jama scores, I mean to be honest this guy has probably played about five games maybe in his entire time here um, in between this game and uh, the last one he was reminding me about a promise Oh, Alzacan pulling one back that's the away goal gone now guys yeah as a jam I was, I was being reminded about the promise to loan him out and now he's scored a pretty important goal here today and then he's given away possession we've got to be careful here not to concede another one 3-1 is a strong position to be in 
but 3-2 and then yeah we're asking for it one more goal and you're out on away goals Al Hamadi looks for Everton finds Cinnamon getting forward a bit further now Cinnamon whips it in Everton with a header over the bar a wasted opportunity and we've really got to make the most of it saying that 15 shots and 8 in target in the first half when you're playing a control mentality is pretty good going I really don't know what to do about Hassan here as I say Abdullah Ahmed could play but I think I'm going to take the gamble I think I'm going to keep him on um, no no <laughs> Right, another 45 minutes. Can we do it? It would be quite an achievement if we can. Certainly a, a giant killing. I mean, I don't have knowledge of the kind of Asian teams as such, but certainly looking at the finances uh, on show, um, it's pretty much like a, a giant killing if we put them out here. But we've still got to get through another half. Al Suhail whips it in. And what a save from Kalef. Diving the wrong way. Stretches that right arm out and puts it out for a corner. And then catches the corner. He's been a fantastic signing. Still can't believe I got a, a keeper as, as good as him in a free transfer. He's been excellent for us. San wins the ball back. And then gives it away. But Saif should win it back. Nice back heel there. Ibrahim to Hassan a short passing but we got to try and get it forward Jama now to Cinnamon infield to Al Hamadi Hassan with the effort and it's over the bar if he had scored there I would have quite happily taken him off and now we've lost Al Hamadi to injury well, fortunately we've got Al Kamali on the bench and he should be able to do a job for us today Hopefully it's not a big injury for Al Hamadi. Um, obviously there's not going to be a massive gap between here and the semi-final if we've made it. Uh, but we've still got to make it. <laughs> We're only at 56 minutes now. Curdy and the chance there for a kun guy's name, Al Jeb something. Uh, I think we're going to have to bring Hassan off now. Um very reluctant to do so um, but I'm sure Abdullah Ahmed can do a job for us and I'll let him know assertively that I have faith in him and he gets along well with me so that's nice so Kalef takes the armband with 20 minutes on the clock Alan Sar need two goals now to pull this tie back in their favour uh, we cannot go to extra time obviously um, well that's assuming away goals do count I think they do so here we go Saif 74 minutes on the clock don't lose the ball find the pass <laughs> Abdul Ahmed now wide to Al Mansouri a bit of space he'll probably come back inside Saif to Ibrahim will we switch it across the right flank Al Kamali now with a chance straight to the keeper as I said before, I kind of need to take these chances. I really hope that we don't get punished in the last 15 minutes. The legs are tiring now. Can we get that all-important fourth goal today? Abdullah Ahmed, Everton is there. Is he onside? He is. And I think we've done it, guys. I think we've done it. 5-2 in aggregate with about 15 minutes to go. Surely, surely we've made the semi-final now. And it looks as though I'll need to unpack my bags. Because <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be here a little bit longer. But yeah, I mean, it hasn't really changed my opinion that this will be the one and only attempt at the Asian Champions League with Ashman Club. As much as I've grown fond of the team, um, yeah, it's just, we'll see if this can be our, our swan song. Everton whips it into Abdullah Ahmed, tries to get the shot off. It's blocked, it's a throw in. We, I mean, to be honest, looking at those stats, you wouldn't think we were the underdogs here, but we have really stepped our game up today. Um, however, Hazazi's broken free, 
They can't finish though, Kalef with the save. And we should just be winding the clock down now. A goal now would disappoint me a bit because four one is a fantastic scoreline, but you know, we're we're through. There's there's no way there's no way they can score three goals in this short space of time. Even if Al Kamali gets sent off. But I don't think he will. He has been. <laughs> oh god, I totally jinxed that there. Um Okay, in terms of what we can do for the last few minutes, I'm just going to bring Everton off and stick on an additional um, centre-back there. And, we'll just, God, I don't know, Saif can go there, I guess. <laughs> it's the most odd-looking formation. Yeah, pretty stupid to get sent off there. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. Now, I still don't see them scoring three goals. There's only two minutes of added time anyway, so um, this should be the full-time whistle here shortly. Uh, or is it one last chance for Al Nazar? Kurdi Hazazi plays it wide to Junior Urso, to Gabriel, and he's just skipping by our men like they're not even there. Hazazi, there's two Hazazis. It's played in and Clef just picks it up. And that, that boys, is all she wrote. 4-1 on the night. 5-2 in aggregate. Honest, I can't believe we've done this. I really can't. Um, to be missing Ali Kamis as well for today. <sighs> Crazy. Um, I don't want to discuss something negative like that at the moment. Great performance from us. And... Um, so who has gone through? So we've got Adelaide, Al Ali, who we beat in the group stages. I would love Al Ali. I would really, really love to get that as our semi-final tie. Um, I don't know how strong Adelaide are. Um, to be honest, they don't look that strong. Well, actually, he's not a bad player at all, Diego. Uh, is that the Diego? No, it's not. don't think. Is it? Career stats... It is as well. Yep, the guy was at Wolfsburg, Juventus. Yep. So obviously he's winding down his career over in Australia. Um, so when is the draw? When when do you make it? Where are schedule? Right. Um, when on earth do you make the draw? I don't see that at all there. Um, Is it today? Doesn't look like it. Um, anyway, guys. Uh, so it looks like we'll be back for another episode, a two-legged episode against whoever we get in the semi-final. There's only two more rounds to go. Um, honestly, I don't know whether <laughs> I, I can really make any predictions anymore. I really thought that was going to be the end of it there. Uh, I thought the second leg would go the same way as it did with Al Sad, where um, they were, you know, the better side. Um, but we've done it. We're through to the semi-final, and the dream is still alive. If you've enjoyed this episode and you've made it all the way to the end here, uh, make sure you leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think of the series and what do you think's going to happen now. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And until the semi-finals. I'll see you when I see you.